Well, they started making movies together in high school, and now these ambitious filmmakers are back at it again. Their latest film has been picked as an official selection at five film festivals. It's called Infinite, a love story set in space. And tonight, you can check out the Michigan premiere. Joining me now with more is half of the duo, Aaron Katayan. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too, again. It's so yeah. great to see you because I've been following their journey for, for a few years now. Yes, you interviewed and us for our first film. Yeah, a few yeah. years ago. So it's great to see you again. First of all, tell us about this story. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Infinite is the story of Elizabeth Law, who's an aspiring astronomer and grad student at MIT, and she one night happens upon a radio frequency on a ham radio and meets a thought-to-be-dead astronaut who's actually trapped in space. Oh, wow. All yeah. right, so <laughs> how did this even really come about, this idea and bringing it to the full big screen? Yeah, well, last March, Ryan Stratton, the director, came to me and basically bugged me for weeks, maybe even months, <laughs> about making a movie to do with space. And so he finally got his way, and we sort of, you know, he came to me with an original log line that was similar to what I just pitched to you, and we developed that together into the story that the film has become. So how'd you make outer space a reality? We, <laughs> you know what, it was, it was difficult, but we, um, we basically built the interior of a space capsule on a stage, a sound stage in Farmington Hills Studio Center, and yeah. then we used Cineteak Creative, a Southfield-based, a Southfield-based um, post-production visual effects company to green screen out the window. That's terrific. And both of you are from our area, right? Tell mm -hmm. us about your background. Yeah, absolutely. Ryan is from West Bloomfield. Originally, I'm from Royal Oak. And the two of us went to high school here and met when we were 14 and started making movies then. And you interviewed us for our first. And, um, and since then, I've just continued to make films. This is our third narrative film together. Um, so we made two shorts, including this, and one feature. And uh, you know, we're just we're sort of working you know, every day to continue making movies together and making movies that we're passionate about. And, that's what's going on. And what has this journey been like? I mean, there may be a lot of folks out there saying, you know what, this is my dream as well, and really don't know how to get started. Yeah, I mean, you know, to be honest, this particular film has been difficult. It's been, you know, I mean, there have been a lot of logistical challenges, and it's been sort of the biggest scale of anything we've done. Mm -hmm. And so it's definitely been challenging to keep sort of the story close to us within sort of the scale, you know? and. I think we've done a pretty good job, but it's the advice I would give to anyone who wants to do this is just to get out there and do it. You know, there is no better, no better way to go about this than to physically go and do it yourself, and that's the best advice I can give to anyone. And what would you say that audiences should, should take away from this movie? Yeah, well, ultimately, again, the story follows a woman who meets an astronaut over a radio frequency, which is sort of a rare happening. Yeah. It is possible, though. We, we did a lot of research, uh -huh. and it's possible. And so basically through this conversation, the relationship she forms, she learns to sort of get out of the rut that she's in. She's a grad student at MIT. So she's very much feeling like a small fish in a big pond. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very relatable for people because everyone has that feeling at some point in their sure. life. So I think I hope people go away from the movie having that mindset that they can sort of go out and not get down about something when it's challenging, you know, and really get back up because life is ultimately about how you recover from failures or, you know, shortcomings versus how you are always successful. Or Certainly a great message. Again, tonight's premiere is where? Birmingham 8? Yes, yep. Tonight's premiere at the Birmingham 8 in Birmingham, Michigan starts at 7 o'clock. People can go to infinitepremiere.eventbrite.com. Tickets are free, and there are still a handful available, but they're going fast, so I suggest going to grab them now. All right, Aaron, thank you so much yeah, for being here. You. Congratulations, and great to hear about your success.